Hey guys, Jorge Silvestrini here. We're gonna talk real quick on this tutorial about how do we transfer from MIDI, M-I-D-I, MIDI information, which is what we can record from our controllers. Uh, maybe we got it from somebody who already programmed the song and they want us now to notate or just, just copy what they recorded. So how do we transfer from MIDI to notation inside of Finale. This works for Finale 2012 or Finale 2014. So hope you really enjoy it. Stay tuned after the video for the ways you can get in touch with me. See you soon. How do we make this happen? Um, either if you are working on any program, uh, name it GarageBand, Fruity Loops, Logic, Pro Tools, uh, Ableton, whatever program you're working with, you will have the option of taking your uh, file and if you're working on MIDI, you'll be able to export that MIDI file. In this case, I have exported a single line of MIDI and the way Finale works is very simple. We're going to go to File, Open, and I have them in my recents. So Finale, Open, and you'll find your MIDI file. And you will click on it, and you will get, we'll get to this window. Inside of this window is where we tell Finale what to do with that MIDI file. So tracks become staves or channels become staves depending on how your MIDI file is uh, built. We can also tell it where to go. If I had more things, um, I could be telling it to go which channel go where, to which instrument. I don't in this case. Um, now we have uh, a box telling us what we need to include, if any tempo changes, data, markers, um, we could also use the key signature or infer it or ask me. We could use the time signature. It can create percussion if we have percussion. So pretty much Finale is going to read your MIDI file and transfer it into notation. So I'm going to go ahead, press OK. And there it is. It did its business. And if gave, it gave me my file. Now, as you can see, it opened up in a new file and it created a brand new file for me. So it's not in my uh, score that I have back there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and move it to where I need it uh, to be. Let's see. Uh, first two measures will probably click and then the riff start it. So I know this is a wrong note, so I can go in there with my eraser and just erase that note. And then let's see, let's continue. Yeah, that, everything else looks good. Um, just a quick note here. When you're transferring from a MIDI file into notation, sometimes if you haven't quantized correctly and it's not, uh, everything is on the beat, Finale is not going to be able to read your MIDI file and you will see uh, sort of rests where they don't need to be or extra notes. So be careful when you're working on your sequences to if, if your goal is to also um, have them transfer into notation, then there might need to be some more editing to your MIDI files. Anyhow, Let's continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything. And before I copy, I also noticed that the key signature, it didn't import the right key signature. This should be in B minor. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my key signature tool, right click there, B minor. Oh, it transposed everything and I don't want it transpose. So double click there. Now let's go over here to B minor and do not transpose. Hold notes to orig original pitches. And now we have everything as it should be, okay? So, copying that, 
just Command C. And now I'm going to move to my other file here. And I'm just going to paste it. Once I paste it, I see that it's correct. And now I have it on my part. Then I can go in and I know that I erased that tempo marking. So I'm going to edit our little tempo marking as well. It should be equal, not a nine. Assign it. And there you, we have it. That's our part already taking from, I'm just deleting, taking from our MIDI and it now shows up as notation in Finale. And here we can edit it, we can, we can now do whatever we want with it, but pretty much we have it now in notation, okay? Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. So there's three ways you can get in touch with me. One is by uh, using my email, me, me at jorgesilvestrini.com. You can also get in touch with me via Twitter at jsilvestrini. And the last way uh, you can get in, in touch with me is via Google Plus, plus Jorge Silvestrini. Visit me on my website, uh, www.jorgesilvestrini.com. Keep yourself glued to this channel for more tutorials and videos coming, okay? Suena low!